Hello and welcome to Replacement Player Baseball. Today, the Cubs are back in Wrigley Field, facing off with the Washington Nationals for a short four-game homestand. The final game of the Cubs and Tigers series was rained out in Detroit. It has been rescheduled for June 24th. Now, back to the task at hand. Today's game against the Nationals is going to feature Aaron Nola on the mound for the Cubs. He is going to be making start number 10 with a 4-1 record. He has a 3.38 ERA and a 107 whip. And the Cubs lineup is going to be adjusted slightly again due to the Anthony Rizzo suspension, which is still in effect. Now, for today's game... Danny Santana is going to be slotting in at first base for the Cubs. We look at the Cubs' entire lineup. We see Nico Horner is leading off, followed by Correa, Santana, Springer, Harper, Ramos, Tauschman, the pitcher Nola batting eighth, and Paradis batting ninth. For the Washington Nationals, Antonio Senzalata will be making start number nine today. He is opposing Aaron Nola with a two and three record, a 708 ERA, and a 169 whip. The Nationals lineup will include Turner, Eaton, Robles, Soto, Kaboom, Castro, Reed, Senza Senzatella, and Wilmer Difo batting ninth. It is 67 degrees today. The wind is blowing in from center at 9 MPH. And now it is time for the Cubs to take the field and get this game underway. The Cubs coming in with a 26-12 record on a five-game winning streak and up four games on the St. Louis Cardinals for the Central Division lead. The Cubs' Aaron Nola is on the mound he is looking for the sign, taking his time out there on the rubber. And now he is going to deliver the pitch. And that is strike three called. So he starts out the game with a strikeout as Turner goes back to the dugout. And now Adam Eaton is the next batter. With one out, nobody on. Nola working with a two ball count. There's a grounder to second. Horner picks it up. He throws over to first. That is going to be out number two. Robles now the batter with two outs and nobody on. Nola working with a two ball count. Here is the pitch. And there's a grounder up the middle. Correa has this one. He throws over to first and that will end the inning. So the Nationals go down in order. We go to the bottom of the first of a scoreless ball game. The Nationals starter, Senzatella, is on the mound facing Nico Horner. Here's a 2-2 count. And Horner is waiting for the pitch. There's a grounder toward short. Picked up and thrown over to first. That is out number one. Correa now the batter with one out. Nobody on. Here's a one and two count. And the pitch to Correa. And there's a grounder to first. Picked up and stepping on the base is the first baseman. That'll be three unassisted for out number two. Danny Santana now the batter. He had a really good series against the Tigers. Let's see if he can continue to build on that success. Here's a one and two count. And Santana swings and misses for strike three. That will end the inning. So the Cubs go down in order. We go to the top of the second. Still scoreless here at Wrigley. Juan Soto leading off for the Nationals here in the top of the second inning. Full count. Nola delivering the pitch. That is low. It is ball four. A fastball in the dirt is going to award Soto the base on balls. And now Kaboom is the batter. With nobody out, one man on. Nola pitching with a 3-1 and one count. There's a pop-up. Short left field. Coming in is Tauschman. He looks up and makes the catch. That is out number one. Next up, Castro. Starlin Castro, former Cub, batting against Aaron Nola with one out, one man on in the top of the second inning. Here's a full count pitch from Nola. And a drive. That's going to left field. That's going to be one hop to the wall. Soto is stopping at... No, he's rounding third and heading home. 
and that's going to be an RBI double for Starlin Castro, which will give the Nationals a 1-0 lead. Castro now in scoring position as Rowdy Reed comes up to bat with one out, one man on. Nola working with a two-ball count. There's a liner past the third baseman in the left field. That's another base hit. The throw, the throw goes home. The runner comes home, and he is going to be safe as the Nationals now take a 2-0 lead on the RBI single from the bat of Reed. The pitcher now the batter with one out and one man on. Two runs already in this inning. Here's the first pitch, and the bunt is laid down. Popping up from behind the plate is the catcher. He throws it down to second, and he gets the lead runner for the second out of the inning. So the pitcher, Senzatala, is on first, and Daifo now is the batter. Two outs and one man on. Here's the two-and-one pitch, and Nola throws a wild pitch. That goes to the backstop. So the runner now advances to second, and Nola working to Daifo with a three-and-one count to try to end the inning. Here comes the pitch. And a swing and a miss for strike three. So the full count changeup gets the strikeout to end the inning. The Nationals do score twice. They take a 2-0 lead in the bottom of the second inning. Springer now the batter for the Cubs. Here in the bottom of the second inning, a two-strike count. And here comes the pitch. And Springer swings and misses at a letter-high fastball. That is out number one. Bryce Harper now the batter with one out, nobody on. Harper waiting for the two and one pitch. Here it comes, and a pop-up. Short right center field, coming in is the right fielder. He will make the catch for out number two. Wilson Ramos now the batter with two outs and nobody on. Here's the one and two count. Ramos swinging, and there's a grounder toward third. The throw goes over to first, and Ramos is retired easily to end the inning. So the Cubs go down in order. We go to the top of the third inning of a 2-0 ball game. Aaron Nola back on the mound for the Cubs. He's going to try to recover from a rough inning the last time out. Trey Turner leading off for the Nationals. Here is the first pitch to Turner. And there's a liner right up the middle. That's going to be a base hit. So Turner getting the leadoff single here in the top of the third inning. Next up is Adam Eaton. Nobody out, one man on. Eaton waiting for the two-strike pitch. And there's a drive to right field. I believe that is going to be, oh, it's caught. A running catch by Bryce Harper with his back to the infield for the first out of the inning. Nice defensive effort by Bryce Harper. I thought that was going to get over his head and go to the wall. However, the runner, Turner, is able to tag up and advance to second on that fly ball. And now, Robles the batter with one out, one man on. Here's the 2-2 count and the pitch. There's a grounder over to first. Picked up by Santana. He throws to the pitcher covering, and that will be out number two. The runner advances to third, which gives the Nationals a runner 90 feet away with Soto now the batter. Two outs, one man on. Here's the one and one count, and Soto lines it right up the middle. That's going to be a base hit. It'll drive in the third run of this ballgame. Soto getting the RBI single, giving the Nationals a 3-0 lead in the top of the third inning. Carter Kaboom now the batter with two outs and one man on. Here comes the full count pitch from Aaron Nola and a pop-up to right. Coming in is Bryce Harper. This time, he's going to make the play with his with facing the infield for the third out of the inning. So the Nationals score again. They take a 3-0 lead into the bottom of the third. Senzatala is now the pitcher facing Mike Tauschman here in the bottom of the third inning. One ball is the count, and Tauschman grounds that one past the third baseman down the left field line. That's going to get down into the corner. Tauschman rounding first, heading for second. He is going to slide in with a leadoff double here in the bottom of the third inning. So the Cubs trying to rally, getting their first base hit of this ball game. And now Aaron Nola is the batter, and he is going to be bunting in this situation. The sacrifice is called. The bunt laid down right back to the mound. The throw goes to first, and the pitcher is retired for the first out of the inning. Mike Tauschman is advanced to third on that play. And now Isaac Paradis the batter. With one out and one man on, Paradis waiting for the one-strike pitch. Here it comes. There's a grounder 
toward the third baseman. The throw goes over to first. Piranis is retired, and Tauschman scores. The Cubs have their first run of this ball game. The Nationals lead cut by a third. This is now a three to one ball game. Horner the batter with two outs and nobody on in the bottom of the third inning. Here comes the first pitch to Nico Horner. He's gonna drive that one in center field. That is gonna be caught on a line to end the inning. So the Cubs score. The lead is now 3-1 in favor of Washington going to the top of the fourth inning. Willie Castro leading off for the Nationals here in the top of the fourth. Nola working with a 2-2 count. Here comes the pitch. And a swing and a miss for strike three. Big curveball. And that gets Nola his third strike out of this game. Now Reed is the batter with one out and nobody on. Here's the one ball count. And Nola delivers. That's a single right up the middle. That's another base hit. The Nationals have a one-out single. Oh, no, that's going to be a double. That is a one-out double. He didn't stop running, and he made it all the way to second. And Springer apparently committed an error in center field, letting that ball get by him all the way out to the wall. So now the pitcher comes out with one out and the runner on second. Obvious sacrifice situation right here. Let's see if the Cubs defense is ready for it. 2-2 two, two count and strike three is called. Just right on the corner. That is the second out of the inning. Four strikeouts in the game for Nola. And now Daifo is the batter with two outs and the runner on second. Here comes the one and two pitch and Nola gets him to swing and miss at a pitch that was down in the dirt to end the inning. So Washington strands a runner. We go to the bottom of the fourth of a three to one ball game. Carlos Correa leading off for the Cubs here in the top, bottom of the fourth inning. Here's a 2-2 pitch, and Correa lines that one down the right field line. That's going to be extra bases. Rounding first, heading for second. The throw comes back into second base. Correa slides in safely with a leadoff double. So the Cubs, with the leadoff man in scoring position, now bringing up Danny Santana here in the bottom of the fourth inning. Santana 0 for 1 today, facing Senzatala with the Cubs down by two. Here's the one ball count and the pitch to Santana. That's driven down the right field line. That's another base hit. Santana is gonna stop at first. The throw comes back into the cutoff man and the Cubs now have runners on the corners with nobody out in the bottom of the fourth inning. George Springer now the batter. The rally is seeming to be imminent here as the Cubs looking to drive in another run here in the bottom of the fourth. Springer batting first pitch and he pops that one up to right center field. The center fielder coming over, he makes the catch, the throw comes home, the runner comes home, the slide, and he is safe. So the Cubs get their second run of the ball game. George Springer with the RBI sacrifice fly, and that has made this a one run ball game. Bryce Harper now is the batter with the runner on first and one out here in the bottom of the fourth inning. Harper, waiting for the full count pitch and there's a grounder to second the throw goes to short the relay to first and a four six three double play is going to end the inning the cubs get another one back however and the nationals take a one run lead into the top of the fifth inning nolan now working to trey turner to lead off the top of the fifth here's a two ball count and nola delivers there's a pop up to left tauschman coming in fast he looks up and puts it away for out number one. Nola now facing Adam Eaton with one out and nobody on. Here comes the first pitch. Nola delivers. There's a pop up to left again. Tauschman running toward almost the exact same spot and makes the second catch for the second out of the inning. Robles now the batter with two outs and nobody on. Let's see if Robles can hit it somewhere other than left. Here's the one strike count and the pitch and Robles pops it up to left. Tauschman this time adjusting toward left center, but he is sure-handed and puts the ball away to end the inning. So three foul balls to left causes the Nationals to be retired in order. We go to the bottom of the fifth, still a three to two ball game. The Cubs are going to warm up a reliever in this situation because Aaron Nola's day is gonna be over. Uh, let's see here, Liam Hendricks is going to be warmed up to come into this ball game in the sixth inning. Ramos leading off for the Cubs in the bottom of the fifth. Cubs are down by one, needing to 
rally and get some more runs. Here's a two and one count and the pitch to Wilson Ramos. And there's a grounder right in front of the plate. Catcher pops up and gets it. He throws down to first and that is out number one. Tauschman now the batter with one out, nobody on. Tauschman facing Senzatala. He is one for one today. Here's a one and one count. And the pitch to Tauschman. That's a grounder over to first. The first baseman picks it up, steps on the base, and that is out number two. And now the pitcher comes up. So this is where we're going to see a pinch hitter. The first pinch hitter off the bench today is going to be Erie Adrianza. He is going to come into this game, bat from the left side against the righty Senzatala here in the bottom of the fifth inning with two outs and nobody on. Two and one is the count. Adrianza waiting for the pitch. And there's a liner into center field. There's a base hit. So the pinch hitter gets a two-out single here in the bottom of the fifth inning to keep the inning alive. And now Isaac Paradis, the batter. With two outs and one man on, Paradis facing Senzatala. Here's a two and one pitch, and Paradis grounds it toward third, picked up, and there's no throw, so everybody's going to be safe. An infield single for Paradis, and now Nico Horner is the batter. There's runners on first and second with two outs here in the bottom of the fifth inning. Horner with the potential to tie up the game with a base hit here in the bottom of the fifth. Full count pitch. Horner pops it up on the infield. That is probably going to do it. Foul territory. The first baseman grabs it, and that'll end the inning. So the Cubs strand two. We go to the top of the sixth inning of a 3-2 to two ball game. Now Liam Hendricks is going to be brought into this game. Adrianza is going to remain in the game and play third. And Paradis will be sat out as the pitcher comes in to the number nine spot. Liam Hendricks coming into the game. He has thrown 16 innings, walked four, struck out 21 with a 225 ERA. He's going to face Juan Soto to lead off for the Nationals here in the top of the sixth inning. Two and one is the count. Hendricks looking to deliver the pitch. And here it comes. And popped up to left. Coming in is Tauschman. He looks up, has a line on it, and he puts it away for out number one. That is four straight fly balls to left field for the Nationals. Carter Kaboom now the batter with one out, nobody on. Hendricks working with another two and one count. And there's a grounder over to third. Adrianza has it. He throws to first, and that is out number two. Castro now the batter with two outs and nobody on. Hendricks working. First pitch. Here's the delivery and a pop up to center. George Springer is coming in. He has the range and he makes the catch to end the inning. So the Nationals go down in order. We go down to the bottom of the sixth of a three to two ball game. Carlos Correa leading off for the Cubs here in the bottom of the sixth inning against Senzatala, who is at 67 pitches so far in this game. Correa waiting for the first pitch. Here's the delivery. And a drive down the left field line. That's going to be extra bases. The shift was on. The left fielder was way out of position. Correa is going to have extra bases. He gets into second with a stand-up double. So that is a leadoff double for the Cubs here in the bottom of the sixth inning. It brings up Danny Santana. He is one for two today. Excuse me. Facing Senzatala here in the bottom of the sixth inning. Cubs down by one. Here's the one ball count and the pitch to Santana. There's a grounder up the middle. The shortstop has it. He looks the runner back and throws over to first. That'll be the first out of the inning. George Springer now the batter. With Correa on second and one out. Cubs down by one in the bottom of the sixth inning. Here's the one strike count and the pitch to Springer. And there's a liner down the right field line. That may drive in the run. The right fielder picks it up. He throws home. The runner comes home the slide and he is safe. And George Springer drives in the tying run in the bottom of the sixth inning. An RBI double. And now we have a 3-3 tie. Bryce Harper is the next batter. We are going to also warm up another reliever in the Cub bullpen for the seventh inning. It is going to be Junior Fernandez. Now, Senzatala facing Harper in a tie ball game here in the bottom of the sixth inning. 
The runner is on second. The go-ahead run is on second base. Here is the two and one pitch to Bryce Harper. And there's a grounder toward first. Picked up and stepping on the base with, is the first baseman. That is out number two. George Springer advances to third, so now the go-ahead run is 90 feet away, and Wilson Ramos is the next batter. Two outs, one man on. Ramos waiting for the one-ball pitch, and there's a pop-up down the left field line. Chasing is the left fielder. It looks like he's going to get there. The catch is made, and that will end the inning. So the Cubs score again. This is now a tie ball game going in the top of the seventh inning. And Junior Fernandez is going to be brought into this game to pitch in the top of the seventh inning to the seven, eight, and nine batters in the Washington lineup. Fernandez coming in, he's throwing 17 and two thirds inning, walk nine, struck out 24, with an ERA of 255. We are also going to warm up a lefty, Blake Taylor, in the event that we would get all the way around to Adam Eaton in this inning. Now, Fernandez coming in, he's facing Reed, leading off for the Nationals in the top of the seventh inning. Here's a one and one count, and Fernandez looking to deliver the pitch. And here it comes. And a drive deep left field going back toward the warning track. And the catch is made right in front of the wall for the first out of the inning. Tauschman making the catch up against the Ivy for the first out. And now Senzatala is the batter with one out and nobody on. Man, the park just barely held that one. Fernandez facing Senzatala here in the top of the seventh. Here's a 2-2 count and the pitch from Fernandez. And that's a swing and a miss for strike three. So Fernandez gets the strikeout for the second out of the inning. Now bringing up Wilmer Dyfo. Two outs and nobody on. Fernandez working with a three ball count. Here comes the pitch. Outside for ball four. So the walk is issued. The runner heads down to first and Trey Turner now is the batter. With two outs and the runner on first. Blake Taylor is ready to come in if we get to Adam Eaton. Here's the... One and one pitch from Fernandez, and that is, oh, the, the runner goes, the throw goes down to second, and the runner is safe. So Dyfo gets the stolen base. He's now in scoring position as Trey Turner's at bat will continue with a 2-2 two -two count. Here's the pitch from Fernandez, and a swing and a miss for strike three, which will end the inning. So the national strand runner, we go to the bottom of the seventh of a 3-3 ball game. And today's guest conductor for the seventh inning stretch is going to be Chicago Mayor Lori Lightfoot. Mike Tauschman stepping up to the plate. He is going to lead off for the Cubs in the bottom of the seventh inning. He is facing Senzatala. He is one for two today. Here's the 2-2 count and the pitch to Tauschman. That is a grounder towards second. Picked up and thrown over to first. That's going to be out number one. Adrianza now the batter. With one out, nobody on. Adrianza was a pinch hitter earlier in this game. He got a base hit. Here's the two and one pitch to Erie Adrianza. And he's gonna ground that one to first. The first baseman has gotten a workout over there. He picks it up and steps on the base for out number two. And now we're going to send up a pinch hitter for Junior Fernandez. We're also going to make sure that Blake Taylor is warmed up and ready to come into this ball game, which he is. So the pinch hitter now for the pitcher spot is going to be Miguel Amaya. With two outs in the bottom of the eighth inning, Amaya facing Senzatala, bottom of the seventh inning, excuse me. A one and two count, and here is the pitch, and there's a grounder up the middle. The shortstop has it, throws over to first, and that'll end the inning. So the Cubs go down in order. We go to the top of the eighth of a 3-3 tie. So the Cubs are now bringing Blake Taylor into the mound. The lefty Taylor has thrown 17 in the third innings, walked two, struck out six, excuse me, two earned runs, six walks, 21 strikeouts, and an ERA of 1.04. He is going to face Eaton, Robles, and Soto here in the top of the eighth inning for the Nationals. With a one strike count, Blake Taylor is looking for the sign and delivering the pitch. 
There's a grounder towards second. Horner has it. He throws over to first. That is out number one. Next up is Robles with one out, nobody on. One ball is the count. Blake Taylor delivering the pitch. Grounder to second again. A diving play this time, but it gets past Horner into short right field. That is going to be a single with one out. And now Soto the batter. One out, one man on. Soto facing Taylor here in the top of the eighth inning. Two and one is the count. And that gets away. That's a wild pitch. The runner heads down to second. So the go-ahead run is in scoring position now. And Soto with a three and one count. We're just going to go ahead and issue the intentional walk for ball four. And let Soto take first. And now we're going to visit the mound. Diaz is ready, so we're going to change pitchers. Diaz is going to come into the game to try to preserve the tie here in the top of the ninth inning. The Cubs closer stepping onto the mound. He has thrown 16 innings, walked four, struck out 27 with an ERA of 1.69. He is facing Carter Kaboom here with one out, two men on in the top of the eighth inning. And the Cubs closer Diaz really needs a ground ball double play right here to get out of this inning. Here's a one and one count and the pitch to Kaboom. And there's a liner down the right field line. That's a base hit. The run, ball goes into the corner. Extra bases for Kaboom. One run scores. The throw goes to second. The Nationals now have a 4-3 to three lead in the top of the eighth inning. Next up is Starlin Castro. He is one for three with an RBI with runners on second and third and one out here in the top of the eighth. Diaz working to Castro. Here's a two-strike count. And a swing and a miss for strike three. Struck him out with the slider for the second out of the inning. And now Rowdy Reed is the batter with two outs and two men on. Diaz trying to get out of the inning here. Two strike count. Here comes the pitch. And a strike three call to end the inning. But not before the run is driven in. We go to the bottom of the eighth of a four to three ball game. Horner now facing Senzatella in the bottom of the eighth inning. The Cubs are again down by one. Here's a 3-0 count. And Horner takes inside for ball four. So that is going to be a leadoff walk, putting the tying run on first. Carlos Correa now the batter with nobody out, one man on. Correa waiting for the 3-1 and one pitch. There's a looper right at the shortstop. That is going to be the first out of the inning. And now Danny Santana the batter. With one out, one man on, Cubs down by one. Here's the 2-2 pitch to Danny Santana. Senzatala looking for the sign, delivering the pitch. And that is strike three call. And actually, that's the relief pitcher, Tanner Rainey. Rainey got a strikeout against his first battery face. George Springer now the batter, two outs and one man on. Here in the bottom of the eighth inning, Springer facing Rainey with a one and two count. And that gets away. It skips to the backstop. The runner advances to second. So Springer now with a chance to drive in the tying run. Runner on second, two outs in the bottom of the eighth inning. Springer waiting for the full count pitch. And here it is. And there's a pop up to center. Coming in fast as the center fielder. He's gonna get under it and make the catch to end the inning. So we go to the top of the ninth. It is still a four to three ball game. And we are going to go ahead and warm up a reliever, another reliever here. This time it's going to be Birdie. No, actually, yeah, we're going to go ahead and really warm up Birdie. That's going to that's gonna make more sense. Warm up Birdie. So Diaz facing Ryan Braun. Here in the top of the ninth inning, Braun leading off. He was a Cub just a week ago, right up until the return of Bryce Harper off the disabled list. So Braun facing Diaz here in the top of the ninth. Two and one is the count. Diaz delivering the pitch. There's a grounder over to third, picked up by Adrianza. He throws over to first. That's going to be out number one. Next up is Daifo with one out, nobody on. Here's a one and two count and the pitch from Diaz and a swing and a miss for strike three. So Diaz 
brings him up with a fastball at 101 mile an hour, and that'll bring up Trey Turner. With two outs and nobody on base, Diaz facing Turner with a one and one count. Here comes the pitch from Diaz, and a grounder past the first baseman in right field. That's going to be a two-out single. The runner stops at first, and now Adam Eaton is the batter. And we're going to visit the mound, and Birdie is ready. So he's going to be brought in to face Adam Eaton here in the top of the ninth inning with two outs and one man on. Birdie is going to be inserted into the lineup, and now... He has thrown 14 and two-thirds innings, walked seven, struck out 17 with an ERA of 1.23. Eaton's coming up to the plate. He's 0 for 4 today, waiting for the first pitch, and that's high. The throw goes down to second as the runner tries to steal, and he is safe. So the runner now on second in scoring position for Adam Eaton. Two and two is the count. Birdie now again looking to deliver the pitch. Here's the sign and the delivery, and a pop-up to left. This is going to be playable in short left field. Adrianza goes out and makes the catch to end the inning. So the Cubs hold the Nationals. The runner is stranded. We go to the bottom of the ninth of a 4-3 to three ball game. Bryce Harper leading off for the Cubs here in the bottom of the ninth inning. And Zach Britton is the new pitcher for the Nationals. He has thrown 14 in the third innings, walked 11, struck out 24 with an ERA of 7.53. So Harper facing Britton with a 2-2 count. Britton, the lefty, facing Harper, the lefty. He is looking for the sign and the pitch, and Harper swings and misses for strike three. That was a curveball out of the zone, and he chased it. Wilson Ramos now the batter with one out, nobody on. Ramos... Facing Britain with a full count. Here comes the pitch to Wilson Ramos. And that is outside for ball four. So Ramos draws the walk. And now we're going to see a pinch runner. Malik Smith is going to be brought into this game to pinch run for Wilson Ramos over at first base. Mike Tauschman is the next batter. Do we have a pinch hitter for Mike Tauschman? We're going to save, we're going to let Tauschman hit, save our last pinch hitter in case we get to the pitcher's spot. Also going to warm up another reliever, it's going to be Joe Menez if we go on to the 10th inning. Now, Tauschman facing Britton with one out, runner on first here in the bottom of the ninth inning. The runner is going to be looking for an opportunity to advance. Tauschman swinging away at the first pitch. Britton delivers. That is strike one, a sinker. And now on the second pitch, we we'll try to steal second. That's inside. The runner, however, holds it first. So ball one. We're going to swing away again. Because now they're going to try a pickoff throw, and he's safe over at first. And now, now it's time to try the steal once again. With a one and one count, here's the pitch. Right down the middle, however, the runner steals the base without a throw. Malik Smith now is on second base, a one and two count to Mike Tauschman. And let's see if he can drive in this run. Tauschman swinging away with a one and two count. There's a liner down the left field line. That is gonna drop in for a base hit. Malik Smith had to pause. Apparently he thought that was gonna be caught. So he paused between second and third base, so he stops at third, and now Erie Adrians is the batter. With two men on and one out here in the bottom of the ninth inning. Adrianza actually is a very good bunter. Is this a situation, are we gonna try the suicide squeeze to tie the ball game? Adrianza is one for two today. He's just not a good hitter, though. He's 174 batting average on the season, four for 23. So we're going to try it. We're going to try the squeeze bunt here in the bottom of the ninth inning. The bunt is laid down, down the first baseline. The pitcher has it. The runner scores. He is going to be safe at home. And we have a tie ball game. Adrianza is safe at first. 
The Cubs now have first and second with one out. And the pitcher, Birdie, is due up. However, now the pinch hitter is going to be Thyro Estrada. So the Cubs have tied the game at four. Here in the bottom of the ninth inning, with one out and two men on, Thyro Estrada is the batter. And now we're going to try a double steal to see if we can advance the runners to second and third. First pitch, the runners are going to go. Here it comes. That's inside. The runners go. The throw goes down to third. And the runner on third is out. Okay. So now with two outs and the runner still on second, Estrada is batting here in the bottom of the ninth inning. Estrada facing Britain. Here comes the pitch. And there's a grounder towards short. Picked up and thrown over to first. And the throw gets away. The winning run is going to come home to score on the error. And the Cubs walk this one off as the two runs are scored. One run on the error here in the bottom of the ninth inning. So the Cubs are victorious 5-4 in dramatic fashion here at Wrigley Field. The Cubs improving to 27-12. and And the Nationals falling to 19-21. and The player of today's game is the Nationals' Antonio Senzatala. He went seven and two, two third, seven to third innings, seven hits, three runs, all earned, one walk, and two strikeouts. Zach Britton suffers the loss in a blown save. He allowed the winning run to score, actually came across on an error in the bottom of the ninth inning. He went two thirds of an inning, one hit, two runs scored, one earned, one walk, and one strikeout. The Cubs, Nate Birdie gets the win. He goes to 2-1. and one. He got the final out in the top of the ninth inning. So, the Cubs also out of the lineup, we see that Carlos Correa went 2-4 for four and scored twice in this ball game. So now, with the result of this game, man, look at that. That just drops right off. The Nationals were heavy favorites to win this in the ninth inning. And then two events that managed to, the bunt that allowed the tying run to score, and then the error that allowed the winning run to score. So the Cubs improved this to a six-game winning streak. Come back for more tomorrow from Chicago. This was a thrilling victory for the Cubs. Thank you for watching Replacement Player Baseball.